This video shows how to start a simple HTTP server using Python 3 and Python 2 and then serve your local files over HTTP protocol. So in this system, you can see this system has both Python 2 and Python 3. So right now I am in this location in downloads folder. In downloads folder you can see these many files. Okay, so my goal is to serve all these files over HTTP protocol. So first I am going to show how to serve these files over HTTP protocol using Python 3. First you go to this location. In your case, you have to go to a location where your files are located. Okay. Then run this command python3 minus m http dot server then the port number. You can give some port number here then enter. Now you can see the message serving http on 0 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 port 8008. So next what you have to do is go to your browser then type 127.0.0.1 then the port number 8008 then enter now you can see the files actually these files are located at in this folder downloads folder you can see all these files in this browser so if you want to download one particular file just click on that see you will see the download pop-up window you can save this file so this is how we start simple HTTP server using Python 3 and serve the files over HTTP protocol. Next I am going to show the how to do the same thing using Python 2. So for that I am going to open another terminal. In this new terminal I am going to go into the same location this downloads folder then there I am going to run this command python2 minus m symbol http server then the port number now you can see this message serving http on 0.0.0.0 port 8007 so let me open browser and go to that location 8007 see you can see the same files so you can download let's click on the file you can download it this is how we start simple http server in python 2 and here how we do the same thing in python 3 okay so if 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 you can access your laptop from another system using the ip address of your laptop you can just try to open this port in another system using the ip address of your laptop so you will get the same window same files list in the second laptop you can download these files to the your second laptop so this way we can share your files to the remote system okay so please subscribe my channel if you like this video